Hey, what is up guys? Michael here from Michael Alexander Photography and welcome back to another video here at the MVP channel. And today's video is gonna be a fun one. It's one of my favorite editing tricks and it's to edit eyes to make them pop. Now I know there's a lot of videos out there that show you how to edit eyes. This is just my way of doing it and I find I get the most natural results doing it this way. So let's jump right in and let me show you guys how I edit my eyes in Photoshop. So we're gonna be editing this video and I'm gonna be making, well, this eye pop because that one is already hidden. We'll add a little bit to that eye but you won't see it as much, but we're gonna be focusing on the eye that is open. And we're gonna be doing it with a standard basic dodge and burn layer. Now, the first thing I like to do a lot is I like to really crank this thing up to where it's a gnarly amount. And the way I'm gonna show you guys is we've really cranked it up now and I'm gonna take the mask away and we're gonna make it hella bright. So you see there's like, it's just way too bright now. So let's add the mask back. And the reason I like doing that is because I like seeing what I'm busy doing because we can always reduce that back down. I would like to see where I'm applying brightness. So we're gonna use the flow function on the brush. If you don't understand what the flow does, definitely check out one of our other videos where I explain what the flow function on the brush does. So I like having it at 14, around about 14, between 10 and 14%. And that amount is low enough where I'm gradually adding, but not so low that I'm taking forever to do so. So the way I like editing eyes is I like zooming in a lot because we're gonna use a very, very fine tip. We're gonna really bring that down. And the way I do it to make it look the most natural is if you look at the eye, now I know this is very pixelated, but if you look at the eye, you'll see none of these patterns here are very organized. They're not in a straight line. Now I know a lot of people like just brushing and that's how they brighten the eye, but I don't like doing that because it brightens everywhere. And as you can see, there's a lot of dark spots in the eye. So what I like doing is a bit of a crisscross pattern. It's just a bit back and forth. It's a little bit more chaotic. Now as you see, this looks almost white, but we're gonna reduce that down. Like I said, I like actually seeing what I'm busy doing when I'm doing it, because we can always bring it back down to where it looks a little bit more natural. And the same thing is gonna apply to the dodge layer. We are gonna make it very bright, well, very dark, so that I can actually see that I'm reaching the corners. Like you saw there, I wouldn't have been able to tell if it was too low. And the reason we use the flow layer is because every time I add it, I can add more to a certain area, but if we only use the opacity layer, that would be a set value until we increase it. So there we go. This eye is done. Let's see if we can add a little bit to the area that is visible in this eye. And we can, just the crisscross pattern. And now we are gonna do the same, but with the burn. And again, we're gonna make the value down very low so that we can actually see what we're doing. So instead of crisscross pattern now, I just do random dots all over the show. Even if you go over the areas that you have brightened, but you wanna add some random dots, just here and there. The thing with the burn is you don't wanna add as much as the dodge. And also find adding a little bit, just a light brushing to the edge of the eye really makes it just stand out a lot more. Same here, just a few dots here and there. I'm not gonna add it to the edge because, well, maybe a little bit, but you can't really see the edge. Now let's zoom out to where we see the eyes again. There we go. As you see, that's we've added a lot there. But now we're just gonna take the curves back down to where it seems a little bit more normal, just by looking at the eye, bringing it back down. I like normally bringing it down just to that first square right there. Same thing with the burn. I'm gonna bring it just back down and there we go. We've now brightened the eye. If you still wanna reduce everything a little bit, you can now play with the opacity, bring it down to about 50%. So the thing with eye edits is I find it's one of the most noticeable things when somebody's edited an eye because a lot of people overdo it. So they make the eyes pop. And when they really make the eyes pop, they really make it pop and it looks a little bit unnatural. It looks kind of inhumane and they look a little bit um, monster-like or you know vampire-like. If that's the look you're going for, 100%. But for me, when you're trying to keep things a little bit more natural, you just wanna make the eyes pop a little bit more, I definitely say less is more. So there we go. It's a very slight pop. So we are gonna increase the opacity again, make it down to 70, and it just adds a little bit. It's almost difficult to see, but there we go just a little bit of glow. And because we've done it in a crisscross pattern, it looks a little bit more natural. And even when you look up close now, do you see the texture there? We've enhanced it. We haven't taken away from it by just brightening everything. So it's a little bit of a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's one of my most favorite techniques that I use to edit people. 
And I definitely think because a lot of people say the eyes are the windows to the soul, that we definitely see a wonderful effect when we add a little bit of brightness to the eye because it really lures you into the photo. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you wanna see more videos like this, definitely give it a thumbs up so we know to add more of these type of videos into this. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.